got online today on a local buy sell buy or sell site on Facebook they're becoming pretty popular around here and from what my understanding a lot of places um, still looking Craigslist too I'm gonna to start a new series on here hopefully to make some videos during the winter along with some other videos I got planned of me fishing all winter long um, on trying to find some treasure online flea markets whatever scout and buy and show you what I can get I'll try to make more videos but I've been working I'm actually at work now seeing as how my boss watches this video I might as well admit to it he's gonna see this but uh not work I got a few minutes downtime so I decided to make short <coughs> video about a deal I got today Pay thirty dollars for a group of stuff. Three rod and reel combos. This one, Zepco two o two. Sort of looking brass in the camera, but it's actually like a pink color, light pink maybe. Looks a little brass in the camera. It's a Zepco rod reel combo two o two. Looked it up online because. I actually already own one of these, the exact same one, bought from my girlfriend, and I thought I paid twenty, about twenty something dollars for it about a year ago, year and a half ago, and this one on, <coughs> I believe it was Cabela's, said it was seventeen ninety nine new, paid thirty dollars for the whole thing, it does work good, everything works fine on it, so even if since it's used, you know. That's still seven to ten dollar rod and reel. Still in real good condition. And we'll go on and show you the reel. It's this open face here. It's Shakespeare. Um catch em, catch more fish rod and reel combo is what it's called, the catch more fish rod and reel combo. Um I looked it up online and This one was twenty nine seventy two on I believe Cabela's site. Maybe it was Bass Pro, but it was Cabela's. Usually comes with a little set of like little lures and hooks with it, but still even taking that away, it's still, you know, almost a thirty dollar reel rod reel combo. I know that's not super expensive and I have somebody paid a lot more for it, but I love these little combos for my crappie fishing and fishing for the small bass and small some of the small ponds I'm hopefully gonna get videos of next year um but this one so we'll get a lot of used crappie fishing but thirty dollars and even used let's say it's a ten to fifteen dollars so I'm already made twenty to twenty five back you could say for the thirty dollars I spent that's just two rods the third and last rod I got right here, another Shakespeare little open face. This is called the Amphibian Rod and Reel Combo. Looked it up online. It said twenty dollars for this combo. So even used that's still ten dollars. So right there, it's thirty to thirty five dollars that I got and we still got a tackle box with a little bit of stuff in it, so we'll check that out next. But the $30 just for the rod and reels was worth it. And the tackle box, in my opinion, was just thrown in. So let's see what's in it. Okay, here's the tackle box. It's still in really good shape. A few scuff marks, but other than that, it looks pretty much brand new. Got your little two sides that open here. Nothing in them, but got them sides that open. And then we got this lodge. This is the plate and ready to fish tackle box. One tray. Looked it up online. It was $12.99. That's with all the stuff in it. This don't have all the original stuff in it. By the way, you guys, sorry about the video quality and stuff. I am doing this on my phone. And like I said, I'm at work, so I don't have all my lights. Um, first off, little frog lure. Can't find a brand on it. If anybody knows, let me know. But I'm going to guess, even if it's a cheap brand, it's still probably 2 or $3. 
maybe a lot more. Seeing some of these little frogs, depending on the brand, go up to 10 bucks. That's just a little frog. Next, this lure right here, I don't know the exact price. Ow. Stuck myself. Really hard to see, but if you look right there on that bill, it says Rapala. It is a Rapala lure. So, you know, I got another, you know, at least $5. That's about the cheapest I ever really find them. Or more on this lure. If anybody knows anything about this lure or how much it might be worth, comment. But right there, you know, I'm already made a profit on this box. Got a good deal. Then you got your hula popper. The hula popper. Um, white belly, green top white skirt the hula popper i looked up online on bass pro shop cabela's and walmart it all said 6.99 so even used it's still worth it <laughs> i actually don't own one of these believe it or not out of all my tackle i don't own a hula popper so that's definitely nice okay and then Sorry, I reached down in there. Sorry about my hand being away, people. Got three of these little minnows. I actually cannot remember the name or brand, but I actually own some of these at the house. And I think they came in a three or four pack. Can't remember, but I actually own some of these. So we're probably going to say for a whole pack, it'd probably be two bucks. There's three total. One's already hooked up. And then here I got some feather jigs. And then I got some little curly tail grubs. There's a double tail grub there. Curly tail there. Nope, double again. Sorry, well, I guess these are all double. I just looked. Plus one jig head. Never have enough jig heads. Over here, a couple of feather jigs, as I call them. Everybody has underspin. Never have enough of these for my crappie fishing. Never have enough. And then in this little section here, got a little bag. They look rusted. They're not, if they look rusted on camera, I'm sorry. They're not rusted. It has, has some juice all over this from a power bait thing, I'm, I'm wanting to say, from the smell. These hooks are in, still in good shape. Three of them in there. So. Some snap sinkers. You see these with my coffee rigs. They're nice and small. Not that big at all. Two curly tail grubs. Always nice. Three rooster tail brand rooster tails. Two bigger ones, one smaller one. A little bit of wear and tear. You can tell these have been used some. But you know what? They'll catch fish. Another jig head. Some really small grubs. Curly tail grubs. And then down here, sorry once again you guys about the <coughs> lighting and stuff. Then it's on my phone and at work so it's not the ideal situation for me. A three hooked. One, two, three. Three hooked. Pre-rigged worm. Yellow and black. And another worm hooked up. Looks like it was hooked up Texas. Probably Texas rigged is what I'm going to guess. But it was hooked up weedless. And then down in the bottom. Power bait crappie nibbles. A pack of hooks. Pretty much a brand new pack. Nothing wrong with them. My count there's nine. There's supposed to be a ten pack. So there's one use out of it. Other than it's one use out of it. It's not a big deal. That's pretty much a brand new pack. That adds on to the value a lot. Power bait. There's only three left in here, <coughs> but they're in one of my favorite collars, and these are really good for my drop shots. So can't complain about that. One of my favorite fishing. A little bit of line. It's not a full box, as you can see, but there's still enough on there. There's one hook, treble hook missing out of these mustad hooks here. little tackle box with hooks, grubs, and jig heads. I can never have enough jig heads. Oh, swivels in there too. 
another thing, a, a two pack of bigger hooks and a Shakespeare. I use it for a casting weight. I think that's what it's for, practice casting. And here overall, this is the box. What I got in it, I paid $30 for all three rod and reel and this box. I think I got a great deal. Try to get more videos out. Gotta try to get off work, get over this. I don't know if you can tell I got this cold. I gotta get over sinus infection. But Okay, that was hopefully my first of a series of, I'm gonna call my fishing treasure hunting videos. I'm gonna spend some time going online flea market stuff just hunting for deals and showing that every now and then you don't have to buy new to get good stuff I got a really good deal here I know some people like they're not the best poles rods and reels but they're what I like using for crappie fishing um, for what my kids and girlfriend use and if they break I'm not gonna have my feelings hurt I actually own two of the three poles already and I've never had a problem with them. I don't have to buy $200 rods and reels. I catch just as many fish as the next person. I do have some nice rods and reels if anybody's watching my videos. But I catch just as many on the cheaper ones as I do the more expensive ones. But, yeah, my phone's not background. I can't hear that. Anyways, like, subscribe, share. I got some review videos and some unboxing videos coming up. I'm hopefully going to get fishing. Let me get some fishing video let me get over this cold and quit working so much um and i'll have some fishing videos out real soon but i like this deal i think i got a good deal i'm going to hunt for some more got some deals i'm trying to work out on craigslist right now if i can get <coughs> up meet these people i'll show you what i got in that and tell you what i spent um but that's it i'll until next time i'll see you later youtube and like, share, subscribe, help me get the video out. Thank you.